situation, which I can agree on picking. And as long as they get maybe, you know, a pipe of mech, it's going to be really hard for, I don't know. It, it's going to be hard for Team Empire to do stuff, like, other than five man and just constant, like, they can't really split push. Oh, Dazzle? Yeah, this is, this is all Dire like, five man. Pick. We're going to try to get in your base before 20 minutes. Let's try to end this game or something because I think they needed a lockdown and if they didn't do that then Dazzle is obviously the best choice where they can just have enough sustainability to just keep on pushing. Yeah, they're just going to try to fight for ages here. I mean, with your Shadow Wave, with your Shadow Grave, you can stay alive in these team fights and just become a total nuisance for sneaking in assassins. It's unfortunate that they picked this Dazzle and they one of the best Dazzles in the world in bank score. He is no longer around here for Team Empire, and we talked about how good he was on that hero, but alas, he's not around. It will be Solo playing the Dazzle, and here we go, game number one of the day. Two games on tap, of course, Sneaky Nyx Assassins versus Team Empire. Sneaky Nyx Assassins, they really need to get a victory, I think, in one of these games, because if not, they're going to go down 0-4. Not the way you want to start out here, as we will jump into the game, so I don't know. It's a pretty important game, especially for both squads. Empire want to get off to a hot start, and this is one way to do it. So we'll have to see how things pan out and uh, how the lanes shape up here for both Sneaky Nyx Assassins and Team Empire. I worry for Nyx Assassins in some cases, and then I worry for Empire in some cases, because you have you have two heroes that are basically unkillable. Well, they have like unkillable heroes, it feels like, on Empire, unless Skyrath gets that fast level 6. And then Undying just seems so useless right now because they have a bristle back. So it's basically all on the centaur. It's all on fluff and stuff, and Mike. It feels like this game to make stuff happen. And if they don't have a fast start, it's it could be a a short game or something. Absolutely, and that's the thing. They gotta get some kills here. They gotta get Mike his blink dagger early on in the game, and we'll see if that's gonna be the case here. As we will jump into the matchup: Empire versus Sneaking Assassins for your Radiant Squad. Empire solo, three two two on the Dazzle. Well, if Silent playing the Necrophos, you played an excellent Medusa earlier, but maybe not excellent enough. Sonico will be on the Shadow Demon here, supporting it up in the bottom lane. We'll have Resolution playing your mid lane Brewmaster, quite the mid lane player, and then rounding it all out, we'll have Mag on your off lane Bristleback here, one of the best off laners in the world. The, would be the argument here for some of these players, so that'll be Team Empire. All right, we got Fluff and stuff going up to the top lane, playing the Skyrath Mage top. We got Whitebeard playing the Undying, Ush playing the Weaver, TC handling the DK mid and off lane. I X my 88 the Stash Man himself. That's right, the Stash Man switching from his role as a support to obviously the off lane about last year when he started playing with Sneaky Nix Assassins, and uh, I mean he's he's quite the off lane player. He's made some big plays. Now this tournament, he hasn't done as much as you'd like to see out of him, but he's still quite the player, and we'll have to see how this goes. Defensive try lanes coming up for both squads, so that leaves the offlaner kind of out in high and dry here. Mag's going to be looking to maybe pull from this camp on the side, but he can get caught out and killed by both Whitebeard as well as Fluff and stuff. Although, like you talked about Undyne, maybe not the best hero in that situation, and we'll have to see how it goes. Yeah, this is going to be interesting because, see, what they want to do is... Empire, they want to push this tower, but if they push this tower too early, it's going to give Mike a lot of levels. In a sense, it's good, because they can maybe get two towers, but if they don't get two towers, it's not really worth going for just one tower. Yeah, and, and honestly, with the, the way the tower gold works out now, I don't know if it's really in their best interest to get that tower that early. They don't necessarily need it. It'll get them some nice gold, obviously, on their necro, but this is very interesting. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what Silent builds into, probably an early mech. We'll have to see. Meanwhile, Whitebeard in the top lane is going to throw out some decays and harass up, and, you know, obviously this bristle back here. So it looks like Mike is getting a bit more out of this lane currently because Mag can't really get up into experience range. However, he is level two, so I guess it's, it's actually pretty even for the most part. Yeah, looking at mid lane, there's like no denies. They're just constantly harassing each other. Blink blue for blues. Um, they both have their bottles running. We'll see what happens in the... Mike's just can't do anything. He's just camping the, the, the rune at 130, you know? You know you can't do anything when you're doing that. But actually, he's probably stealing a little bit of the EXP too here. Which you can do easier now. The problem is also, he's not the best jungler. You can stack up some camps and have him double edge them, but it's not like he's a nature's prophet if you just rotate back or a, a bat rider. Meanwhile, there's going to be the usage of the tombstone. Oh, this is money. This is free money. Yeah, well, they're going to push them back because Fluff comes through. They really want this two-minute rune top, and it's going to be a haste rune for TC. But they will get the bounty rune down bottom for solo. So, 
I mean, uh, yeah, they did give them some gold from those uh, tombstone zombies, but still. No, 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 they, that's a change. In the, oh, that's right. And I don't even know if it was recently. No, it wasn't even recently. It was. All right, well, I'm, I feel I'm like done. it was a month ago or something. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Uh, uh, I don't know what it was, but yeah, they, they changed it like kind of like right after TI. I'm not exactly sure either. Cause, yeah, I forget sometimes too until you play against the hearing. You're like, oh yeah, oh mid lane courier is gonna get. Oh, that is not uh, what you want happening there. Resolution missed micro because he wanted the bottle crow, and then he has a haste rune on TC, so that's an easy take down of the courier. Now he can't bottle crow and his battle at least wasn't on the courier, but. Uh, the boots of speed obviously aren't going to be coming out anytime soon for TC. And TC's manning up on Resolution, just throws out the breathe fire. It is only level 2, mind you, but now Resolution, who was off to a fast start in this mid lane. Well, TC says, listen, I'm just going to take your bottle, get some extra gold going for my carries, my cores, and everybody on my team, essentially. And all of a sudden, three minutes in, it's pretty important. And Max still getting zoomed out in the top lane. Plus, us just sitting at 18 last hits, the lead farmer right now by only about one, so... Yeah, that's just not good at all. You have to wait a whole minute just to get a, a bottle or a charge, basically, where you can go to the bottom room. I don't think he, like, he can contest top rune. If he goes top rune, he's going to die to the Sky Wrath. Because Fluff and stuff's always good at checking these runes. So he needs to make sure that they can zone off Mike from the bottom rune and try to get that. But Solos comes in, he TPs in to refill the bottle, which is he really good. as well. Yeah. So that's, good that's pretty big. Solo making the right decision there for Empire. And uh, that means that, I mean, you can now contest this top rune here for resolution. That's just a nice rotation. This gives, or it should give more room for IX Mike to farm up at the bottom lane, but he's still sitting pretty far back here. Again, he's only level two, but Mac is, is sitting right there at level two as well. Bottom lane, IX Mike does take up the end of his rune. And they get both runes. Mike chasing, he's looking for a stop. He probably won't get it. TC not in range for the Dragon Tail. They can't get anything done there. They really wanted to get that kill, but they could not pick it up. And just a nice four minute room control coming out from Empire here. And and this is pretty much all that's happening. He's just sitting back and farming. The only contesting is really around the runes here for the most part in this game. Yeah, there's, there's just not enough like stuns on either team, it feels like. You need Dragonite to get six. Panda's really hard to kill if you don't have like Skywrath there as well to silence. They've got a lot of team fight, but yeah, the, the, the stuns are lacking in this game for sure. Uh, these early kills, but... I mean, I think Mike's gonna get more now of this offline, though. Mac just got his level 3. Mike should get 4 here, but... It, it just comes down to, like, Bristleback. Are they stacking for Bristleback? No, they're not. So, he's not gonna be having an easy catch-up. He can catch up quicker than a Centaur, that's for sure. But they're not allowing him to do that because they're constantly pressured. There's a TP top lane, though. Uh oh, disruption coming in. Soul catcher as well. Whitebeard in some trouble. He's gonna throw his tombstone down. He might stay alive for a bit. They don't want to feed away the first blood, but they will. Mag gets the kill. But how many are they gonna lose here? Mag in some trouble. Ush gets the second kill. Solo now agent seal as well, and Ush gets out of there. They're still chasing Solo down. Tombstone still alive, and that gets his minus at five minutes and thirty seconds, despite giving away that first blood to Mag. Yeah, the TP. Making it so that it's like a longer top mid lane though resolution. No, he doesn't have enough mana for split. And uh, yeah, that was just very unfortunate that he the TP timer. He could have probably saved the bristle back if he had TP just a little bit sooner. They should have known that he was gonna go on them. So I, I want to say that Solo didn't like anticipate that fast enough. They thought they could kill the Undying faster, but it's an Undying. He's gonna decay you and he's gonna get a lot back. So yeah, absolutely. Took them a bit longer to get the kill, obviously, than they expected. They lose two heroes, and giving away those kills to us, especially, is very important. He gets the Midas up early. Uh, he has 700 gold in the bank now as well. He's got 41 last hits. He's having a great time CSing here. TC is still in the Elder Dragon form, but only for a moment longer here. He won't try to go on Resolution, who still has a split and a regen rune bottled up. They are going to Dragon Tail, actually. They might make it go. Ancient Seal is going to fly. Resolution in trouble. There's the Shadow Wave coming out. They can't get this kill. They can always grave him if necessary, but they get the split off. They don't even need the grave, and Fluff is blocked in and gets brought down by Sonico. Nice play there, and they're going to put some pressure on the tower as well. Uh, I think that's a good trade, though, for more so for uh, Nyx. They got a split for support, and this ha only half the damage on the mid. If the mid had gone down, it would have probably been more worth it, but... No, Resolution, though, he had a regen rune, so he's back, and now, actually, this is actually completely worth it. I didn't know he had that. <laughs> and now they could just take down the tower. He would have to yep. back if he didn't have that regen rune, but... 
Well, maybe they're going to get some help coming in for Nyx Assassins. They aren't going to push this tower down just yet. And all the meanwhile, I mean, you still have us free farming. But at the same time, same thing for Sal in the bottom lane. So he's uh, going to go for mech. this early mech. And, ooh, and they're going to lock him down. Skywrath is coming. He needs a TP. If he just TPs away, TP, TP. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, he is going to TP out. He's going to make it just barely with about 20 HP or so. And he regens up. Very close to getting that kill. And I think they even dropped the tombstone for that as well. So... A lot used to get zero kills, unfortunately, uh, on that top lane. I shall repay. In it's time. just my play. All you have to do is just TP out, and they can't do anything in most lockdown. of the time. That's the problem with having an undying. Like if you don't go aggressive with it, you just do stuff. And... Well, the Mike's fine though. Death Pulse comes in. They can't really get the kill, so. They don't do any damage. However, they're putting pressure on the tower. Stampede has to be used, obviously. A little bit frustrated, but he's doing pretty well. He's level 6 now, so he has to Stampede, obviously. Mag is still level 4. So he's not getting much out of this this top lane, whereas Mike, which you were a bit concerned about, he's doing pretty pretty well here. So. Oh, mid lane resolution is going to get going on. They still have the silence, and he doesn't have yeah. ulti. Two TPs, but they're not going to help at all. They're just going to help survive this tower. Bottom lane, though, they got a tower. Meanwhile, and... TC's going back in, maybe, thinking about it. They have Shadow Grave, or Shadow, Shadow Wave, Shadow Grave. They have grave. no mana on both of their supports right now. This is really bad. They still have Grave. They don't need it. Yeah, Sonico will be okay. Mag runs in as well. Once they saw Mag, they backed up immediately and decided not to go for that kill. But really big pickup on Resolution there. He was getting pretty close to his Blink Dagger, and now he's down to 7,200 gold. So, nicely done from Seekinix Assassins, making sure he doesn't get there. And, uh... And mid Tower is gonna get denied. Nice. Yeah, they know that Panda Split's coming back up, so they have to deny that. There's no way they can contest that. Really smart of T to deny that. Also, these haste runes have been... I want to say they're really good, <laughs> I guess, for getting kills, you know? Mm -hmm. Who would have thought? Well, yeah, haste rune. Pretty good. That great red rune uh, coming out. And, well, Nyx Assassins, now you have your Ring of Health up for the Weaver. You're going to go into the top lane. Still no pressure on this tower, surprisingly yeah. enough. They're just getting farmed. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Fluff's looking for a kill on Silent. Mech is done, but it's not there to help him out. And actually, Silent, being smart, just backs away completely. He's also getting a Bracer as well. He'll be a bit tankier, and he's going to be a bit tough to kill. And this is what I'm interested in, is how is this Necro going to be a part of these kills? What is he going to do in this game? And they actually are stacking up the jungle currently. It looks like they will take this down for Silent. The problem with this patch and having, well, well how did they get all their mana back? Does Sadis work for allies, too? Uh, I don't think so. Oh no, he just got mana boots. Yeah, I'm sure he has. Yeah, I was yeah, like, Arcanes. why is, why are they like so low and no That's mana? Okay, there we go. They just look like they got a ton back out of nowhere, but yeah. So they have that, finally. They Then now they have enough sustain to do these pushes. Two towers down for uh, Nyx Assassin, so the pressure is definitely being applied. And it's like they only have Dragonite to split push and do the damage right now. Later on, it gets a bit more tricky with a Weaver, I think, especially with a Lincoln Sphere. And he got his Midas pretty early, so he's going to have maybe 17-minute Lincoln Sphere at the latest with that Midas, assuming everything goes well for him. So, I mean, he has his ultimate or pretty much right now, but they are roaming top to maybe get the skank. They have resolution. He's got the blink and a double damage rune bottled. That's frightening. He's going to yeah, pop it. They're going to look to go. Right Whitebeard no getting what. jumped on now. There's the stampede. Uh, Tombstone's going to get popped as well. Reaper Scythe, but he's not dead yet. Now he will go down. Dragon Tail resolution. Ush gets away for the time being, but they will blow up Whitebeard. They realize that there is that DDM resolution. They say, hell no, we're not taking that fight. Let's get out of here, boys. Yeah, they have to that. immediately go sp keep split pushing lanes. I mean, since our ulti's down, TC's ulti is gonna be down probably in like seconds or so. And like, they they're gonna lose two towers top no matter what. And they still need Skyrath level six. He's not six. And well, this, this tombstone is just basically gonna be useless. It feels like for the rest of the game because just because of the Vissel back pick. Yeah, there's really nothing they can do in that situation. Whitebeard gets blown up. There's a TP coming. They had a couple, in fact. They're going to try to trade. Resolution jumping and splitting as well. Ush, he's got a Shikuchi, but Fluff might get caught out. Whitebeard going in right now. There's the Ancient Seal. Fluff, though, is going to fall. The boulder toss too much. TT does get the tower, and they blow up solo. No grave coming through. Sonico getting blown up by Ush as well. Now this Brewmaster's not doing nearly enough. He has to blink away. And Nyx Assassins get a huge fight, which gives Mike his Blink Dagger as well. Huge engagement for Sneaky Nyx Assassins there. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't TP the Necroin. That's their heals and their mech. 
If he had TP'd in, I'm pretty sure all of them would have been fine. They could have gotten the disruptions off and the graves off. But they didn't. You they notice how Solo uh, Resolution was really attack. scared just to get silence from the Skywrath before he could get his ulti off, but... And, uh... Zoning... Undying Tombstone going out here, I mean, it's not gonna do anything. Whitebeard... Playing aggressive as he wants. It's like, well, that 12-minute rune, although it already spawned and they already picked it up, but the smoke of deceit, they're looking for Mag. Concussive shot stomp, there's gonna be a double edge in just a moment there, and the Ancient Seal, Mag's dead. And the woes continue for your offlane Empire player, as he's only level 6 and he finally does get his treads up, but Mike is having a field day in comparison. Radiance yeah, they, tower is under they're attack. gonna probably try and, yeah, they're gonna contest this. They don't have split. They have Mike's ulti though, and they're gonna get Stampede, initiated on. Blink Stomp, Solo gets silenced up. The Breathe Fire not enough to grab the kill. Dragon Tail coming in, but it does come right before that disruption Mike's resolution go going on Mike. Mike in trouble, Reaper set the Whitebeard. Does little to no damage, but he's already falling low, and it looks like he will take a spell. Two for nothing, essentially, in that exchange. And Fluff is gonna have to back away. Blink Clap does not connect. All the meanwhile, Ush is rotated up top to continue to farm. Blink Dagger now done for Silent. Great counter initiation from Empire there to get things going back their way. Yeah, it was that basically they lost the fight because of Mike there because he missed the hoof stomp on Shadow Priest. So I'm very unfortunate. If he got that off and that, they would have probably won that fight and took that tower. But since they didn't, he was able to get the disruption off and they were easily able to turn it. And now that they have the panda split up now, I mean, it's going to be really hard. And notice that Necro Silent, he got the um, Blink Dagger. I haven't seen that before, but maybe it's just, you know, Blink away from uh, Silences. They only really have Centaur Blink in to do anything. And, uh, well, Mike, Mike, what are you what doing? Are you doing? Get out of there. He is in trouble. He's got wand charges, and it looks like he won't be able to make it out. The right click, no, he will make it just barely because of that wand. They want to deny or take this tower, rather. Fort's going to come out. That's probably not worth it, because they're going to lose the Sutu Tower, essentially, and Mag does get the kill on it. However, 15-minute, no, 14-minute Lincoln Sphere for Ush, and uh, I guess he doesn't have boots still, so that's kind of the issue, but... Yeah, that was, like you said, a wasted glyph. There was no point in doing that, and Mike should have died there. That was really weird. I don't understand how he didn't. Uh, maybe the heal didn't do enough damage, but I don't know. He got away with something that he shouldn't have, but that was... I would say that's interesting, to say the least. Definitely not his best play. Um, <laughs> Definitely. Mike is Definitely just like, well, some head scratchers. <laughs> I'm alive, boys. I don't know how I did it, but Mike <laughs> walks out and he Base stays alive. Base so. created or something. But, yeah. I mean, they don't have... Uh, they have really good vision for both teams around this Roshan area. Like, if Empire... If they decide to go Roshan and... Uh, at any time, it's going to die. So, they kind of need to make sure they have enough vision around here. And make sure they don't get their Aegis and then try to base push, because that's what Empire want to do. They want to end this game really soon. What are you thinking about this until later game? Yeah. The Weaver split push is going to, I think. Link in, Ash getting caught out. There's the glyph coming through. He did get Death Pulse, so he stays alive. Towers in the die range, and it looks like they're going to bring it down. Empire, nicely done there. Nothing Seeking Nix Assassins could do about that, so they don't get the extra, extra gold coming out. Uh, TC's very close to his BKB, which is going to be huge in this game for him not to get caught out. And the rotation is down bottom. Mike might get caught out himself. He has Stampede over. Clap's going to go split as well. Stampede. He's got Blink Dagger ready to go. He's going to use it to get out as well. Nice play. Oh, that's that's lane, split for nothing. Silent's going to get picked off. And... Well, that's a know. weird play from Empire. There's no reason to TP down there and split for a Stampeded Centaur and leave your carry up top to get blown up. I'm not sure about that play, man. Yeah, that's really interesting. You would think, like, the support's job right now, it just depends, though. Like, he thought they could get a kill, and... I don't know, you, you sometimes want to have Shadow... All you need is Shadow Demon or Shadow Priest just to f follow your carry around. That's basically their job right now. And then they can't die most of the time, even, like, with these ganks. Like, all, all Nyx Assassins are trying to do is they're trying to split you up and pick you off. That's all they can do. If they fight you five on five, they're gonna lose. But TC's almost got his BKB now. And that's gonna be two unkillable heroes in team fight. Solo is gonna be probably going down here. He's got his grave and he's gonna use it, but how long is that gonna keep him alive? Uh, only for a moment longer, it looks like he is gonna go down to the Gemini attack, just to even actually the swarm getting the kill for Ush. And 
He actually backed away before he had even gotten the kill. He knew that he was going to die with that Gemini attack coming through. Resolution coming in. TC. No Elder Dragon for him. He's got a Dragon Tail Resolution. Maybe he's trying to. He's actually going to go on Silent. He wants to be able to TP out. And it looks like he's going to make it away. No Reaper Scythe. Ush now getting focused down. But so is Silent. Tombstone up. There's the... Uh, Time lapse coming in, Chikuchi as well. Decay coming in, Silent taking a beating here, but so is Whitebeard. But the Mystic Flare, Silent is going to fall. Whitebeard manning up a resolution who has no mana to get out with the Primal Split, nor does he have it. It's on cooldown. Ush with the double kill. Mag getting caught out. No stop there. Doesn't connect for Mike. Looks like he actually got Demonic Purge cutting off his Blink Dagger. Mag now running and juking away. Uh, but there's the Concussive Shot, and it looks like he might get caught out and fall here. Solo is on the back end. And they maybe could try to go on him. Mike is looking for a blink. He's got it. He's ready to go. But he's not quite in range just yet. He's going to find it. Stomp not able to hit. And he's still chasing down Mag. Stomp about to go, it looks like. Use it, Mike. Come on, buddy. No. Mag still juking through the trees. The Benny Hill music is playing. Us is going deep. Solo now, he's in some trouble. He does pop the shallow grave. Here comes Sonico. Silence up on him. Mag's about to fall. Ush has the uses of the time lap, and he will find it. Unstoppable for Ush. And um, Empire getting absolutely run over in this team fight. Nick Assassin's getting a long way to three, four, maybe even five kills there. And Whitebeard pops the tombstone just to retreat, but here comes Silent jumping in. Stop! What are you doing, buddy? Double edge. Great defensive disruption. Demonic purge on Mike as well. Silent, he cannot get the Reaper Scythe off on the hero that he wants to. Dragon Tail's gonna go as well. Ancient Seal. Silent is getting owned in this game. My god. Yeah, they they just getting like this was looking really good for Empire like I don't know I would say three four minutes ago but then they just keep on getting split up and this is another kickoff it's just uh, it's not looking good at all for them and like I said DK and the Weaver DK with the BKB and Weaver's unkillable now it's just it's really hard for them to do anything now they they kind of like missed their window I just it's just really hard for Empire to come back into this game. They need a sheep stick on Necro, and then they have to make pickoffs of their own because they they have zero stuns right now. Especially when they have sent like you can't even count Boulder Toss as a stun because you have uh, Stampede, and you can't even count Disruption as a stun. So they're just getting run over. I mean, you're exactly right. There's no disables coming out from Empire, and even if they had them, us is still probably unkillable. This 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 uh, offlane Bristleback is not paying off at all. I mean, he has little to no farm. He just hit level 9. In comparison, Mike's at level 11, I believe. Yeah. So, for Empire, they're they're pretty much losing in every facet of the game now. If they go late, Ush is still going to be a dominating force. TC has his BKB. He'll still be a dominating force. I mean, yeah, maybe you can get an Agative Scepter or something on your Brewmaster, but... Um, what actual damage are you doing? Silent gets picked off in these fights. Nyx Assassin's positioning has just been that good, whereas they're not going to get caught out by a Reaper Scythe anytime soon. So, what do you do in this situation for Empire here, I guess? You just have to keep farming, like you said, get towards that site, so we'll see. Yeah, it's it's definitely not going to get easier now that Mike's almost got his four staff as well. So, even if they do get hexes and stuff, all you need to do is, like, four staff or stampede away. And it basically, yeah, where Empire is, like, unkillable in team fights, it seems like. But bottom line, see, they can't even kill Whitebeard, and he's turning on them. He's banning up. He has a lot of stacks of decay, but he actually had a TP and then canceled it for whatever reason. He, he was standing there. He, he TP'd. He's like, ah, maybe not. I'll just stay here. And uh, they can't kill him. They have no way to bring him down. Absolutely. So now this leaves top lane open. Ush is getting TP'd on currently. It'll be by Silent, but they can jump on him. Blink, Stomp, Silent, Mystic Claire. You're dead, buddy. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, this is just uh, not looking good anymore. Not looking pretty. No, definitely not. And, and the, the thing is also, I mean, you have a Vanguard on, on Bristleback, and yeah, if you turn that into Crimson Guard, maybe it's good, but until that happens, I mean, th this item is, is pretty much useless right now, I feel like, so. Yeah, they, they just, I mean, they're even getting a BKB in Resolution. They have to play super defensive, and when you're playing super defensive, when you have, like, I want to say your team is really attack. meant for, it's like a defensive team, but when you're playing this defensive with a Shadow Priest and a Shadow Demon, getting a BKB, it's really useless, like, if you think about it. Because you're not getting any Kuresh, you're not getting eggs, you're not helping your team out, you're just helping that's, yourself. That's the point of picking these two supports, is to play defensively, at least have them, you know, help you out in a bad situation. You can go in and still have Shallow Grave, you can go in and still have a defensive disruption, 
But they really can't rely on that, as you've seen in these past couple of fights. On top of all that, Usher's gonna get an MKB, so Resolution's Drunken Haze and Drunken Brawl is not even gonna matter. Glyph is gonna go, and it looks like they will deny this tower. Ush, one right click will do the job. Gemini attack! He gets it done beautifully! Ush, nice. That was easy. Easy for Ush there. Yeah, I was like, okay, they're not gonna let the Gemini get it, and yeah, it happened in mid lane, happened. silent. They not have again. But how much is that going to keep him alive, though? Alive. Mech is going to come through. He has Death Pulse. They don't have Dragon Tail for another second. They actually might oh, survive this. It looks like they will. Silent avoids the uh, swarm. Yeah. Link from TC. When did he get that? Oh, my God. They weren't expecting it. Oh, top lane. Silent Mech. Oh, Mech. On down. And middle lane. They're chasing Solo again. That's this GG. is the GG. And... What a game. This is what I was talking about. CK and Insta Assassins needed to get off to a fast start. They absolutely do. And they go up to 1 and 2 here in the Dota Pit League Season 2. It's day number 2 of the action. And uh, Empire off to a bit of a rough start here with that first game. Maybe not the best pickup on that Necrophos, I'd say. Yeah, these early game lineups have to be perfect for you to win the game. And it, it was by no means even remotely...